So I'm going to replace this standard account picture with a company logo. So the company logo picture is going to be default and it's going to be for every user that logs in into this computer. So I'm going to log in. So this is my company logo picture here. So I need to access the location where all the default account pictures are stored. So I'm going to open File Explorer. So on the left side, I'm going to click this PC, open up the C drive. So there's a folder called Program Data and it is hidden. So to unhide it, I need to go to View, uh, scroll down, highlight Show, and on the right side, click on Hidden Items. And the folder is here. I'm going to open Program Data, double click Microsoft folder, so scroll down until you see user account pictures. So this is the folder where all the standard default pictures are located. So there are eight pictures here and I'm only going to replace six of them. Everyone that has the name user needs to be replaced. So if I hover the mouse over the picture, it gives me the type of file and it also gives me the dimensions, which is 448 by 448 and it is in pixels. So all these pictures are in pixels. So before making any changes here, I would advise you to make a backup. I already made a backup of all of these pictures. So all these pictures have extensions, for example, user.png or user.bmp. So to see the file extensions, I'll have to go to View, Highlight Show, scroll down and click on File Name Extensions. And it shows the extensions. So this is my company logo here. I'm going to put it side by side here. So I'm going to use the Microsoft Paint app to resize this logo and to also rename it. So I'm going to replace all six pictures here with the company logo. So I already completed user.png. So I'm going to resize user.bmp with the company logo. So I'm going to right click the company logo here, open with, click on paint. I'm going to adjust this here. So the user.bmp, the dimensions are 448 by 448. So I'm going to click on the resize icon here. I'll select pixels. So it's going to be 448 by 448. I'll click OK. And you can see the size is changed here. 448 by 448 pixels. I'll click on file, save as, and it's a BMP picture. So I'll click on BMP. Now I have a folder on the desktop I'm going to save this to. It's called Resize Logo. So the name is User. I don't need to type user.bmp because I'm already saving it as a BMP file. I'll click Save, click OK. So I'll do the next one. So there are four more here. One, two, three, and four. And they have a number on them. So it's 32, 40, 48, 192. And what that means is, for example, the one with the 32, it means that the dimension of this picture is 32 by 32 pixels. This one is 40 by 40 pixels. This one is 48 by 48 pixels. And this one is 192 by 192 pixels. So I'm going to create this one. It's user-32PNG. So I'll click on the resize icon, click on pixels, and it's 32. Click OK, click on file, save as, I'll select PNG. So it's going to be user-32. Click save. The next one is user-40, and that's 40 by 40 pixels. I'll click on the resize icon, click on pixels, type 40. Click OK, click on file, save as, PNG picture, and I'm just going to type 40 so it's user dash 40 click save so i'll complete the other two so i've completed resizing the company logo and i'm going to copy it over to the user account pictures so i'm going to select all of this drag it into the user account pictures folder click on copy click on replace the files in the destination click continue and the files were replaced. So when I click on the start menu, you can see some of the changes took effect. So if I log off, this does not change as yet. I have to configure a setting in GP Edit. So I'm going to log back in. I'll click on the start menu again, click on the logo picture here, and there's a setting here called change account settings. This has to be disabled 
so that no user can access it and change the account picture. If I click on this, for example, change account settings, it's going to take me to settings. On the left side is accounts, and here is where you can change the profile picture. So I'm going to disable that. So to do that, I need to go to GP Edit. So I'm going to right click the start menu, click on run, type gpedit.msc, click OK. Now under local computer policy, computer configuration, click on the drop down arrow under administrative templates, click on the drop down tab on the control panel, click on the user accounts folder. So on the right side it says apply the default account pictures to all users so this has to be enabled so that every user that logs into this computer will see the company logo picture and this policy setting allows an administrator to standardize the account pictures for all users on a system to the default account picture i'm going to select enable click ok so i'm going to click on the start menu click on this account and notice the setting that says change account setting it's no longer there so i'm going to close this i'm going to log off so the company logo was installed and this is for every user so every user that logs in this will be the standard default account logo picture